Hi, I'm Ryan Glasgow, and welcome to our very special two-part season one finale of Good Job Thanks. <laughs> Sitting here next to me is not only one of this show's many co-executive producers, she's also one of my very good friends, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Chocolate Storm. Thank you. And thank you, Ryan. Maybe now that I'm here, the show will be funny. Wow. You don't think the show's been funny? No. But since I'm co-executive producer, this show will be funny. Or my name's not Chocolate Storm, bitch. Well, thank God you're here, sweetie. Ladies and gentlemen, Adam the announcer guy. This episode of Good Job Thanks is brought to you by Breakdown Services, Steve Easton Acting Studio, Dave Meeker Productions, and Zen Gray, the best personal trainer in the world. Please enjoy this brief, informative message from our generous sponsors. You know how casting directors move around all the time? It's impossible to keep track of who's doing what, where, and when. It'd be great if there was a website that collected all that info and updated it every day. That'd be swell. Mr. Uh, Johnson's office? Mr. Johnson's office! Mr. Johnson's office? Mr. Johnson's uh, office? Mr. La Oficina de Mr. Johnson. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for letting me come in and read for this. You know, normally I wouldn't ever audition for an, uh, a part this small, but since you were the casting person, I thought, what the hell, I'm gonna go see Linda and um, Betty. Well, run down and see them. Well, we did put out a breakdown asking for a Mo Gaffney type, so I bet you have this job locked, sweetie. Do you have any tips for me on how they want it done, any kind of? Well, my advice to every actor is just be yourself. Be themselves, right, so I'm gonna be me. We'll see how it goes, okay. Just give me a second, okay? <clears throat> Mr. Johnson's office. Yeah, no. I'm sorry. Better luck next time. What do you mean? Well, frankly, it's a little bit too much Mo Gaffney, even for you, Barbara. I hated it. It was too much you. Less is Mo. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. Good job, thanks. <laughs> Hi. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Just so you know, uh, I really feel that this character, the receptionist, uh, she just hates the phone ringing. She just, she has an aversion to it. And I, I feel like I, you know, there's a subtext. Sweetie, you're scaring me with all this prep and these layers. It's just three little words, dear. Exactly, exactly. And this is why I, I feel like it reminds her when she was a little girl, seven years old at a birthday party, and there was a clown there. And then the clown was in the car and the car overheated and the clown died. And honestly, I want to play it just like a little bit differently. You know, like she'd just lose it and I'd just be like, <gasps> it's Mr. Johnson's office, God damn it! <sighs> okay, you know, I was a little bit in the flow there, so I wouldn't really do that like at when well, I'm actually on. Yes, sweetie, nothing inspires confidence in a casting director like you probably won't make me look like an asshole to the producers if I give you this part. Good job. Thanks. Oh, okay. I'll get it. Thanks, dear. I was just about to say the same thing. My personal psychic may have been right about you. Really? Your personal psychic? When did you talk to her? This morning. Why? 
No reason. Casting. Casting. It's obviously some actor turned serial killer ready to murder me over a one-line co-star role. Note to self, I'm all out of pepper spray. <laughs> I really felt that one! Okay, okay, now this time, let's call her again, and this time, let's say something really fucked up, like, um... I don't know, but let's just say something really, really fucked up. This is stupid. I want to get down to business. We're not seventh graders. You shut the fuck up, you turd burgling killer of bliss. I will fucking rip your eyeballs out of their sockets. That's enough. No, Joy, you never used to use bad language back in college. Oh, that was before I worked for goddamn Linda. Now I can't say my own fucking name without saying the word fuck. So fucking sorry so for you. Sad. Shit. Yeah, wah. How awful. Cry me a river, bitches. I can't even remember my name half the time because Linda made me block it out. And my friend Johnny, he worked for her about a year ago. Now he's up in some mental hospital, huddled under a table, eating his own toenails. Linda must have stopped. Exactly! But first, let's just fucking call her again. <laughs> and then we'll just kind of ease into the whole murder vibe. <laughs> That's a good idea, Joy. <laughs> Okay, I'll get it, Barbara. Oh, beat me to it again. Congratulations. Casting. Hello. This is Debbie Silverstein. Debbie Silverstein, the agent. Tell me why I give a fuck about this phone call, Debbie. We're not doing direct offers unless your client has two or more Oscars. Certain Emmy Awards will be okay if your clients won at least two or three in a row. And daytime Emmys don't mean shit. Primetime Emmys only, period. So, well, sell me a name that'll make me look like a genius to my bosses, or get the fuck off my phone. Go! <laughs> Debbie Silverstein is so dead to me! <laughs> that was really hard. It was hard! She is so goddamn good at what she does! She really is amazing! <laughs> I admit it! I missed that woman! Yeah, I just want my job back. Oh my god, that's what I want too! Oh. Listen to you people. You sound like a bunch of strung out, whiny crack whores. Ah! What would Barbara say if she were here right now? Let's cut the nonsense and remember why we're gathered here. Okay, Bo is right. Bo is right. This monkey on our backs will not die. Unless we fucking do. Well, we need to fucking do. You don't fucking mean! <laughs> <laughs> this is Madame Loretta. How can I? This help? is Linda. My birthday is March 8th, 1957. Let's do this. Time is money. I'm not in the mood to waste either one. Ah, yeah, I see you've done this before. What do you want to know? Well, my old assistant Barbara is coming to work for me again starting today. I'm not sure it was the right decision because. In the past, when she worked for me, she was, well, she was kind of demonic, I guess. Yeah. What do you see? Okay, Linda, I'm not going to lie to you. What I see, it's not good. From one to accidentally killing Michael Jackson. What are we talking here? How bad? Okay, I'm going to go easy on you. It is like going straight into www. Ticket to hell that us dot com. That's all. The bitch is fucked. Did you forget something? Barbara, is that you? And then he just looked at me and said, Take it like a man. Good job. Thanks. Now the reason Linda has that look on her face is she just witnessed a biological impossibility. She just watched this kid fuck himself. Another wasted opportunity at the chance of a lifetime. His sphincter was so tight he was actually pooping BBs. Fear, doubt, confusion, lions and tigers and bears, oh my. This has to get out of his head. It has to stop fucking thinking. Out of his head leads to the heartland. As I like to say, if you break down the word analyze into its component parts, it's anal and it's lies. So if you want to keep acting out your ass, just keep thinking. 
My name is Steve East and I'm the Chuck Norris of Acting Coaches. And if you come and work with me, I will have you farting in silk. <laughs>